can't see what we can see. She's still hot. She's still fucking hot. So we've got the digging impressions on the side of the clutch basket. That's not really a problem. Let's flip it over. Let's take that. Ah, oh, it's hot. And that there in. Oh, fucking hell. That's done her in. <laughs> Our oh, bearing looks good. Just look for obvious things like rollers missing, stuff like that. No, she all seems good. She's baking hot, motherfucker. She doesn't look bad. I'm looking for broken springs. Well, it's hard to tell. It's a little bit of play in there, but nothing to be scared of. She seems good. Mm. This is a mystery. Hang about, I heard some rattle then. No, oh, all our springs look good. Everything looks good. Maybe our bore's worn out. I've got some shit in here. From the oil. Seems to collect up in here. Uh, furry stuff. Can we put our bearing into... Oh. No, she seems good. Let's turn it upside down, that's the best way to find out. Is there any play? No, no play. It's a bit difficult because I'm trying to bloody hold the fucking thing in. It's hot, hot, hot. These bits are cooled down quite a lot, actually. It's out, get out of the sun. You'll notice on this um, slipper clutch section, there's a dot there and there's a dot there. Can you see that? There's, yeah, there's a dot there and a dot on the outside ring. There's a lot of shit on this though. Just shit collection, I think. This is a bloody awesome forging, is this? An awesome forging. I'm keeping finding bits of metal though. Little flakes. There's one there. Hmm. Maybe our problem is elsewhere. Transmission related. Just checking the ramps on the inside of this. <laughs> Let's get our clutch pack apart. I'm not bothered about checking taking them springs off. So you have these weird these two bevel springs. I'm not bothered about taking them off. There seems to be a lot of shit around here. It's like rust or something. Oh, it's just uh, you can you can tell that sometimes you can tell rust if you rub it on a cloth. If it's bright on the cloth, like rust looking, it means it's rust. If it kind of looks dirty, like muck. on this back face here you can see that skid mark copper it looks like copper can you fucking believe it there's copper bloody everywhere
But what I was expecting, let's do some further inspections. Seems good. What I was expecting was movement between here and here. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. Let's get this um, nipex. Let's get this surf clip off. Get this gear off. There's also you can see there's a dowel pin. You can't fuck it, you can just see there. There's a dowel pin in there. Clip off. Pin out that's a tiny dowel that and it fuck me. <laughs> no, there's no give there, it's got a bit of a sharp look to it. Down all that looks like a bloody neodymium magnet. That down. Hmm. Oh, hang about. What the fuck is that? Is that the end of the spring, or is that? Oh, it could be the end of the spring. I thought there was a big broken fragment in there. Fucking fly. See, it's not as concentric as I'd like. There is a bit where it catches. Maybe that's the lip on that cutaway there, that milled bit. Right then. Does that rattle the sim? God, that rattles worse. <laughs> I don't see if there's anything distinguishing, so there's, there's the same serial number stamps that says 3A. Ah, so there's a date stamp there that says 03A, and this says 17L1. That says 2 with three little pips. So possibly this was made in 2017, really? I want to see if they've made any changes. So these springs have colours on them, these ones don't, but that might have come up. Well, I doubt it actually. F, F, F. Same part number, same part number. Make sure the gears mesh. Yeah. <laughs> you never know, do you? You never fucking know. I'll get my inside micrometers out and check this bore, but we'll do that later because I'm sure that's a bang on dead nut size. So I'll put old clutchy to one side, get out our new clutchy. Where's our hole? There's our hole, where's our oil? Get our oil. Oil. Put our pin in. Should I see if it's got any guff marks on it or anything? Because otherwise you can just turn it around. Caught the pin. It fucking would do. But if I just give the pin a little push. There we go. Gear is in. Uh, circle it. Pliers. There she goes. 
That's our gear. It's got the same amount of slop on there. Uh, we've got a new sleeve, haven't we? Let's get the parts box out. Sleeve. Sleeve. Give this a generous coat of oil. Like so. Super slippy nature. Before we put that in there, give the inside of this some super slippy nature. Like so. I've just got my finger hooked on the inside of it. Now I was going to get a new bearing, but it was too late. You can see the wear pattern actually. And you should really get a new bearing, but it's 40 quid, which I paid, but they reckon it's three weeks away for some reason. So I was like, oh for fuck's sake. I was like, let me just get this done. It's not going to be the end of the world. It would be nice to put a new bearing in, but I can't be waiting. There's no slop in there, I can't feel anything egg shapey. Yeah, she seems fine. Absolutely fine. Where's that bloody washer come from? Oh yeah, that's the bevel washer that goes on there. It's the washer that goes on there. <laughs> Did I buy a new one of these? Let's see what we've got. New nut. Yes. That washer. Is that the same one? Yep, yeah, that's the same washer. And you can also tell that this washer that's fucked has got a, you can't see it there, you can just see it's got a hex pattern on it from the nut. <laughs> Sweet. That always helps. So that's the new one. We'll put that in there. Uh, what else did we get? We've got a new Torrington bearing. And that's all clutch stuff, clutch stuff. Clutch springs, we've got new, some new clutch springs. Um, oh yeah, that's water pump. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's the old one. Clutch springs. I'm sure we've got some, oh yeah, we've got all them big daft washers new, didn't we? Right, let's go, oh, before we start installing all that shit back in, let's put all this back together. Um, do we want to do it that way? No, I want to do it on the bike, don't we? Like an idiot. Right, 